Russia is turning more to Asia or to, to parts of the world which are not West, I think uh, it makes sense to give Russia multiple options. On the one hand, uh, you have people whose sets of policies bring the two together. <laughs> and then you say, you know, beware of them coming together. When I say think through your own solutions, is don't give another country, which is clearly a competitive country, a veto over our policy choices. What is the settling point of the relationship between China and India? Is there a settling point? What if the China-Russia relation, relationship strengthens? What if it doesn't turn out in the way that India hopes? Here's the problem. Uh, both of us are rising, uh, obviously at a different pace with different starting points. Uh, I think uh, uh, the Chinese started off earlier much and much more uh, uh, you know, much more intensively and robustly than we did. Uh, but uh, it's in the nature of things that, you know, at some stage everybody flattens out, so there'll be a period where they'll be flattening out and we'll be growing. Uh, uh, I'm not in denial of, uh, you know, what the numbers today uh, suggest, but uh, if one looks, for example, uh, at the Goldman Sachs uh, prediction, which is that we'll both really, uh, by about 2075, end up as $50 uh, trillion dollar economy plus and will be the uh, two closest to each other. Now, the, the international relations uh, version of that issue would be, if both of us are moving vis-a-vis -vis each other and vis-a-vis -vis the world, how do we construct an equilibrium? That there will be occasions when one or the other would want uh, to change, you know, to, to do something to press home a particular advantage, uh, and the other will resist it. You know. uh, here's the immediate issue, which is, you know, from the 1980s, really, late 80s, uh, we had an understanding on the border, uh, precisely because it suited both of us. Uh, now, there was a departure after uh, almost, uh, after 30 years, uh, a departure on their side in terms of how they behaved uh, on the border. And there's a pushback from our side. So I, I think management, you know, arriving at equilibriums, then maintaining those, refreshing those, is going to be the, one of the biggest challenges for, for both countries. It's not going to be easy. The bit which, you know, the, the mind games which will be played would be, you know, it's just between the two of us. There's nobody, the other 190 odd countries in the world don't exist in our relationship. That will be the mind game which will be played. I don't think we should play it. Because if there are other factors out there in the world which can be harnessed by me to get better terms on an equilibrium, why should I forego that right? So part of, uh, you know, uh, today, uh, uh, when I say think through your own solutions, is don't give another country, which is clearly a competitive country, a veto over our policy choices. And unfortunately, in the past, that has happened from time to time. So we should be confident enough to uh, leverage the international system. To, to create the best uh, possible outcome. Your second issue, Russia-China. You know, it's, it's kind of funny. Uh, uh, on the one hand, uh, you have people whose sets of policies bring the two together. <laughs> and then you say, you know, beware of them coming together. <laughs> so, uh, okay, I mean, I, I can see the reality out there. But I think it's very much in... Uh, certainly in Indian national interest, but I would suggest actually in global interest that when Russia, you know, what's happened today with Russia is essentially uh, a lot of doors uh, have been shut to Russia and the West. Okay, we know the reasons why. Russia is turning more to Asia or to, to parts of the world which are not West. Uh, now, I think uh, it makes sense to give Russia multiple options. 
if we if we railroad Russia into a single option and say, you know, that's really bad because that's the outcome, uh, then you are making it a kind of a self-fulfilling uh, uh, prophecy. So uh, today I think uh, it's important for other countries, especially in Asia, to engage Russia, to to remind Russia. And look, Russia Russia is a uh, is a uh, you know is a power with an enormous uh, tradition of statecraft. Such powers would never put themselves, uh, you know, into a single relationship of uh, of a overwhelming nature. Mm -hmm. it, it would go against their grain. 